Stucco is one of those materials you've probably seen a thousand times without ever really paying attention to it. It's on houses, on walls, on commercial buildings, and even on historic structures that have stood for centuries. Yet, despite being everywhere, most people don't actually know what stucco is, how it works, or why it's been such a trusted exterior finish for so long. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the world of stucco, what it's made of, why builders use it, how it performs in different environments, and what makes it a timeless choice in construction. Whether you're a homeowner, a DIY enthusiast, or someone simply curious about how buildings are put together, this video will give you a clear, comprehensive understanding of what stucco really is. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, stucco is a type of plaster, an exterior coating made from a mixture of cement, sand, water, and sometimes lime. When combined, these ingredients create a paste that can be spread over walls to form a durable, textured surface. Traditional stucco goes back thousands of years, used in ancient Greece, Rome, and Egypt. It was originally made using lime instead of cement, but modern stucco uses Portland cement for greater hardness and long-term durability. This shift in materials is what allows stucco today to stand up against weather, temperature shifts, and even decades of wear and tear. The mixture might sound simple, but the performance it delivers is anything but. When it dries, stucco forms a rock-like shell around the building, solid, breathable, and capable of lasting for generations when properly installed. One of the reasons stucco has remained popular throughout history is its incredible versatility. When applied, it starts as a soft, workable material that can be shaped, textured, smoothed, or patterned in countless ways. This is why stucco homes can look sleek and modern, rough and rustic, or anything in between. Builders can create swirled textures, dash finishes, sand patterns, smooth coats, or even designs that mimic stone. Another major advantage is its ability to accept paint or pigments. Color can be mixed directly into the stucco to produce a long-lasting hue that doesn't peel the way regular paint does. This means homeowners can choose from subtle earth tones, bright Mediterranean colors, or anything that matches their architectural style. Stucco is as much an artistic finish as it is a protective one. Beyond aesthetics, stucco's durability is one of its biggest selling points. Because it bonds to the structure and hardens like stone, stucco can withstand sun, rain, wind, and even fire better than many other siding materials. It's naturally fire-resistant due to its cement and sand composition, which is a major reason it's commonly used in areas prone to wildfires. Stucco is also excellent at handling temperature swings, especially when combined with modern moisture barriers and reinforcement mesh. However, like any building material, stucco isn't perfect. It's strong, but it can crack if the foundation shifts or if the mixture wasn't applied properly. Moisture can also cause problems when stucco is installed incorrectly, especially in climates with heavy rain or high humidity. This is why professional installation is so important and why modern stucco systems use layers, such as a waterproof barrier, metal lath, multiple coats, and a final finish to ensure long-term performance. To better understand stucco, it helps to look at how it's actually applied. Stucco is typically installed in multiple layers. The process begins with a base, either a solid masonry wall or a framed wall covered with building paper and metal lath. 
The first layer is called the scratch coat, which is applied and then scored horizontally to create texture. This gives the next layer, known as the brown coat, something to grip onto. The brown coat smooths and levels the surface and is allowed to cure for several days. Finally, the top coat, also called the finish coat, is applied. This is where the color and texture come to life. It's a process that requires patience, skill, and attention to detail. Unlike siding panels that are simply fastened onto a wall, stucco is handcrafted, which is part of what gives it its charm and unique appearance. Stucco also plays a role in energy efficiency. Though stucco itself is not an insulator, it works well with other insulation systems to help regulate indoor temperatures. Its dense structure adds thermal mass to the building, meaning it slows down the transfer of heat. In hot climates, this helps keep interiors cooler for longer periods, reducing energy consumption for air conditioning. Many modern stucco systems now incorporate foam insulation beneath the surface to create what's known as EIFs, or Exterior Insulation and Finish Systems. While EIFs is different from traditional stucco, it offers additional energy benefits and greater flexibility in design. However, traditional cement stucco remains the preferred choice for durability and long-term strength. In the end, stucco is more than just a wall finish. It's a combination of art, science, and history, still thriving today because it works incredibly well. It protects homes, enhances architectural design, and stands strong against the elements. From ancient civilizations to modern construction sites, stucco has earned its reputation as one of the most reliable and adaptable exterior finishes ever created so the next time you walk by a building with that distinctive textured look you'll know exactly what you're seeing a durable handcrafted surface built to last and designed to impress thank you for watching if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.